welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at an Acme Trading Company 1969 Chevrolet K5 Blazer in 118 scale. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. On the front of the box we can see the imaging of the Blazer uh, comes in the red color and the blue and white is due out in June. On the side of the box they give us a side shot of the Blazer with the top on. These sides of the box have the features that the die cast includes, such as the uh, opening doors and hood, removable top, posable steering. The rear of the box, you get a rear side look of the um, blazer, as well as a view of it with the top off. This end has more of the features that it has, it's the same uh, features listed as on the other side of the box. Underside of the box just says uh, it was manufactured by Acme and it's a GM official licensed product. Let's go ahead and take a look at the model. The model itself comes encased in styrofoam. The topper is in a separate section that is in the top part of the styrofoam with the truck in the base. Let's go ahead and take a look. If you look through the hole in the side, you can see the topper inside of there. Let's take a look at the truck, what we've all been waiting for. It's nicely packaged and cradled in here with tape or static clings holding the hood and doors closed. Got that piece of foam there protecting the radio antenna. As well as the bundle of foam holding the passenger side seat in place so it does not flop around during shipping. Let's go ahead and free this truck from its packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at the truck here. Uh, I did put the top on it just so we can get the look at the lines of the vehicle with the top on. I uh, will remove that top so we can get a better look at the inside as well as to show you um, down the road here in the video what it looks like with the top off. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front end of the blazer. Very nicely done front end. Uh, Acme did a great job with the quality of it between the headlights and the grill, um, the Chevrolet badging, um, and the bow tie emblem up there. On the front fender here, below the uh, indicator light, there is a four wheel drive badge. And as we move our way down, K5 Blazer badging in the front fender. Uh, now then, there is trim that runs the entire length of the side of the vehicle that is uh, wood grain with the chrome edging on it. Up on the door, you can see the CST package badging. Got the gas cap in the rear uh, quarter panel, as well as another indicator light. Nicely detailed wheels. Got the different wheels on the front for the manual locking hubs for the four-wheel drive. On the rear end of the vehicle here, we got the Chevrolet badging with the wood grain again on the um, tailgate there. As well as you got the taillights with the reverse lights, the chrome trim going around. Up there we can see there's a Georgia plate with the plate 69K5. The passenger side of the blazer is identical to the driver's side, just minus the gas cap on the rear quarter panel. Outside of that, you have the CST badging on the doors, as well as the K5 Blazer badging and the four-wheel drive badging up on the front fender. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. Under the hood, we can see the fully plumbed and wired engine there with the uh, Chevy orange painted engine blocks and valve covers. Uh, detailed um, master cylinder with the brake fluid reservoir, the lines going off it. So that you got the windshield washer fluid hose going up. Uh, over here you got the heater core with the lines coming off as well as the battery in the front corner down here. Very nicely done. You even got the spacing between the grill and the radiator as well as you've got the realistic metal hinges um, on each side that give it a more authentic look and when you close it, it sounds just like closing an old car hood. 
With the top removed and the door open, we can get a better look at the intricately detailed interior here. Um, the dash assembly, we've got the different gauges up there um, that look nice, as well as the radio and climate controls. Um, the glove box is supposed to open, um, but mine uh, doesn't come open very far, it's stuck. And the whole gate, uh, dash assembly is pretty loose, um, loosey goosey up there. Uh, one more thing to note that pertains to this area is the steering wheel is not influenced by the turning of the front wheels. Um, so if I turn the front wheels, it does not move the steering wheel at all. Um, there you can see the manual transmission shifter as well as the four wheel drive shifter. Very nicely done um, seats. You got that just interesting like fabric texture um, materials that they would have used on the seats in 1969. Um, definitely something you don't see in cars today. Got the correct center console in there with the silver and chrome um, detailing on it. So as you got the rear seat back there, the ashtrays and the armrests. Uh, now this carpet is uh, this mo sorry this model is fully carpeted on the front and in the rear, and this seat does tip forward to allow the people to get into the rear. Um, um, accurate to the original Blazer, this seat does not move forward. So we go around the back here. We got a spare tire that is held back there, as well as you got the opening tailgate with the um, accurate hinges that would be on it, like you would see in the real Blazer. Uh, so the tailgate does open, but the access hatch on the top that goes right here does not open up like it would on the real Blazer. Let's go ahead and just close that back up. Actually get a view here at the interior door panels. You can see um, we got the door cranks, as well as the door handles. Um, the doors are realistic um, opening doors, so the pivot on the hinge instead of using the dog-like hinges. It uh, looks very realistic and just, it looks very nice. I'm happy to be finally seeing these. Just get a better look inside the driver area here. Better look at that gauge cluster. Very uh, nicely done, very intricately detailed. I'm happy with the detail, just again, the move ability to move that um yeah, i'm happy with that but what can you do here's the topper piece that comes with the blazer as i had uh, mentioned before the rear access hatch does not open this is just one molded plastic piece um, but it is accurate to what it would look like as well as the um, interior uh, texturing um, to the inside of the roof and the fronts of it there uh, is accurate to what the 1969 topper would have looked like you can see the window seals there where the windows would roll up against. So let's go ahead and take a look at the underside of the truck. As we look at the underside of the vehicle here, we can see the serialized plates. See that this is truck number 694 of the 1,452 produced. Um, the underside of the truck is modestly detailed. Um, one thing to note is it does not have the functioning suspension. Um, so it has the leaf springs like molded into the underside and the frame and everything, but it does not, they do not function. Uh, same thing with the shocks. Um, the, you know, functioning suspension is something you would see in other uh, Acme vehicles. Uh, but I will give the engine side of the engine looks really nicely done, as well as the um, transmission with the transfer case going to the two drive shafts. Um, you got the exhaust, they come together and come out the side back there, uh, got the gas tank. Everything is uh, pretty well done on the underside here. It's not as detailed as some of the other ones um, that I have, such as the um, Oldsmobile 442s that have all the fuel lines and brake lines and everything, but um, I'm happy with it. I'm just happy to receive uh, the model after waiting for it for quite a few months. Um, as you can see here, the got the holes um, those are from some plastic cradling pieces that were on it to protect uh, the edging of the paint on both sides.
Overall, I'm uh, happy with the quality of this diecast. There are a couple of things, such as the uh, whole dash assembly being able to move and uh, not having some of the features that other um, Acme diecasts have had in the past, such as moving suspension and the moving steering wheel. Um, but overall, I'm happy with it. And the paint work is really good on it, as well as the interior and uh, trim work and everything. And the front end is with the grill and the headlights. Everything looks really, really nice on it, and Acme did a great job. Uh, especially having the opening doors that are the realistic opening doors and not the dog leg hinge doors. Um, the top fits on nicely and looks very well. Uh, looks very nice on the truck overall. Um, anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video on the Acme Trading Company 1969 Chevrolet K5 Blazer in 118 scale. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more diecast reviews. Thanks! Thank you.